Hey everyone, this is a quick video on how you can merge Apple Notes, and this is going to work on any of your Apple devices. It uses a shortcut, it's fast, and it's easy. And if you're like me, merging notes is really important because I'll collect a lot of notes and I don't want to have to copy and paste each one into a new note. I want something that's automated, can combine them, and makes a rough draft for me. So let's just start by taking a look at my notes. And when I say merge notes, what I'm saying here is I have individual notes here and I want to combine them together, either two or four or as many as I want. And you can see here, I have all types of notes. I have drawings, I have scans, I have articles from the web, I have annotated PDFs, I have shared notes from other people, just plain text notes. So I have all these different types and in certain instances, I just wanna combine them together into a single note. Now, some of you may be wondering, why would you wanna do this? And in my case, I may be collecting a lot of individual notes in research for an article or a report or something I wanna output. And then what I like to do is create a rough draft. And when I wanna create a rough draft, I have to combine these things together. And many times I'm just actually creating the output in individual notes just as fragments. And then I wanna combine those fragments together into a final output. All right, let's get started. This is very easy to do. Just go and open shortcuts. And you can see here, I have an empty shortcut already created called Merge Notes. Now go ahead and open up that empty shortcut. And the first action you're gonna to want to add is called Find Notes. So let's look for Find Notes. You'll pick that, Find All Notes, and you're gonna to wanna to add a filter right away. And in this case, we wanna pick a folder. So we're gonna pick a folder and choose that folder. I'm gonna pick just Notes as my folder, and I'm gonna sort it by the last modified date. And I'm gonna to wanna to have Latest First. Now in this case, if I pick a folder, I wanna make sure I either wanna limit it if it's, there's a lot of notes in there, or I may pick an empty folder and drag some notes into an empty folder and merge them all together. So it's up to you how you wanna do that. I'm just gonna put a limit of 50 notes here because I don't want all of my notes picked out of my main notes folder. So we'll start with that. This is just going to select those notes, but we have to be able to choose. So we're gonna pick choose from list and it automatically pulls the previous steps output. So it says choose from note. We'll show more and we wanna select multiple. And as I mentioned earlier, if you just wanted to use like an empty folder, drag your notes into an empty folder and then select from that folder, you could select all initially and just ignore the selection. So if I go ahead and run this right now, you are gonna see now the 50 most recently edited notes from my notes folder. And I can go ahead and select specific ones in the list. Now, nothing's gonna happen at this point because I don't have any output from the selection, but you will see a small output screen at the bottom of this that gives you some indication that the shortcut is actually working. All right, so the last step in this process is to create a new note with the body of all the merged notes together. So we're gonna go up here to just notes and let's do a create note, there it is. And we're gonna say create note with selected item. Now the key on this one is to select body. That's gonna select the body of all the notes that I have in that list. And you can pick a particular folder. I created a folder called merged. That's the folder I like to use. So I start with one folder and then the notes will combine and they'll end up in a single note in my merged folder. So now that the shortcut is done, let's give it a try. Let's pick four different types of notes, say, the drawing will pick the PDF, the annotated PDF, a web article, and just a plain note. So let's start with those four. So let's just run it with those four notes. So what's gonna happen here again is it's gonna select from that list of the most recent modified notes. I'll pick those four. Those four will be combined together and that new note will be created in the merged folder. So let's just start, I'll run it. I'll pick those four, there's the drawing. We have the annotated PDF, we have the web article, and here's just the standard text article. So I'll hit done. And now a new note is created. You can see it brought up Apple Notes here. If I run over to the merged folder, here's the merged note. So if I open that up, you can see I have the drawing at the top. I have the annotated PDF. I have the web article. And then I have just the text, text note. So everything's combined together as one single note in my merged folder. 
So I saw that I missed one step at the very end here. In the last step, you can actually provide a name of the note. And I like to just give it the name merged note. You can give it any name you want, but that'll at least create that note in your merged folder or whatever folder you want as your output here. Again, you can select whatever folder you want and give it a name that you want. And you can see this last uh, other step is it'll open Apple Notes when, when it ran. And we saw that when, when I executed. So I've tried to make this easy for you, those three steps and a shortcut. This works on your Mac, this works on your iPad, works on your iPhone. And you can play around with these values. You could pick a different input folder. You could select from created date. Uh, you could get, uh, you could pick the entire folder if you wanted to without limiting it. You can pick your output folder with any names you want. And of course, if you're a seasoned shortcut creator, there's a lot more things you could do here. You could try to extract dates. You could try to extract titles. For me, it's just, I just want it to be easy. It just takes the content out. I know which notes they are, and it's just a fast way to do that. But if you're really good with shortcuts, there's a lot more you can do. So hopefully this is for someone who just wants to get something quickly done and get those notes merged. Now, are there any limitations to this? The only things I've found so far is one that scans will not merge, meaning that the image of the scan won't show up in the merge notes. Now, if you extract the text from the image, then yes, the text will merge in. The second thing is if you have too many notes in the selection list, I noticed on iOS that if the list got too big, the shortcut would fail. So keep in mind that the folder you're picking from, if you're picking all the notes or you have a very large folder with hundreds, maybe thousands of notes, that you don't want all of those in the list. It'll probably fail on iOS. I'm not even sure on the Mac. I'm not gonna try to go too far with that, but for me, I always have limited folders or I'll move notes into folders to mitigate that problem. All right, that's it. I hope you found it useful. I know it's very useful for me. Again, if you're an advanced shortcut user, you could do a lot more with this. There's a lot you can do with shortcuts and Apple Notes. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. It really helps the channel. This channel is brand new. I'm starting with tools right now, but we're going to move into some other things you can do with personal knowledge management systems and ways to use them that will help you uh, either in terms of output or in school and learning. So appreciate you watching and take care.